find like a goth sundress? Um, what about, you could try Dark Lord and Taylor. What about Vera Thang? Kind of pricey, but just something beautiful. Um, you could try Sad Fifth Avenue. Sad? Or, uh, Demon Marcus. What about American Evil Outfitters? Or 666 West? All right. It's cheap there. What about Forever Alone 21? Uh, or Ross Death for Less. Oh, they're cheap. Yeah, they're good deals. I mean, get some of these. Cold Han. Tommy Hellfire. Armani Estranged. Filene Seller. I guess. I guess. Oh, they have dresses there. You might not think they do, but they do. Kenneth Colt. Yeah, or uh, Boardstrokes. Did you like plan them? Oh, a good department store is uh, Brooding Dales. Brooks Mothers. Hugo Cross. Oh, and J.C. Pentagram. Oh. Dullards. <laughs> <laughs> like a Vermont person there. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Oh, well, uh, Bryn was trying to come up with a good place to get a goth summer dress, and we were trying to think of some options. Oh, like, like Ann Taylor Zola? Yeah, or Bottom Shop. Or Charlotte Noose. Cool. Bye. 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 Uh, what is happening? Sisters of Macy's. Ralph Chagrin. Urban Outcasted. Ben Unshoreman. American Peril. United Grace Benetton. Uh, Seared. Juicy the Cure. If you don't, if you don't know, just say so you don't know. Burlington Bone Factory. BDS H and M. Right. Banana Rejected. David Suicidal. Old Grave. E. <laughs> Scarget. Abercrombie and Witch. Uh, TJ Paxel. <laughs> Uh, express too much. Seven buff all mankind. Victoria's Secret and Gucci. Gucci and the Banshees. Oh, I love that place. It's really fancy. Hot topic? We hang together on rooftops forever. We hang together. Welcome to Rooftop X, I'm Ben. I'm Bryn. And today, we're gonna to be talking about Little Dragon, Nabuma. Nabuma Rubber Band. Nabuma. Nabuma Rubber Band. Little Dragon is a Swedish band. This is their fourth album, following Ritual Union. I first heard of Little Dragon on a uh, a guest performance when she was on the Subtract record. Which is how I heard her. And then after that, I Love heard her voice. on a DJ Shadow track. Okay. I uh, pre-ordered this album from Rough Trade in order to get into a performance that they were going to do on the release of the album. At Rough Trade. At Rough Trade. So it was really cool because I had been trying to see this band since I, since I found them. And I was never able to go for one reason or another. Did you go to that Rough Trade show? I did. Did you get images? I did. Let's see them now. Good stuff. Looks like a good show. <laughs> it's fun though because I had been trying to see them for so long so to finally see them in this sort of intimate little show at Rough Trade was really cool. Because um, their, their sound is so big. Like their really? synthesizer sounds are these big sounds and they just blow you away. Every once in a while, you know, a band comes along for me where I just like, this is a band that I can commit to and have a relationship with oh, really? forever. And this is this is one of those bands where like, as soon as I found Ritual Union, I listened to that one forever. Um, and so when this one came out, I was just like, yeah, you know, it's like my friends. My friends oh, okay. have a new album. And so- Yeah, I know that kind of- feeling. I just like this band and I'm, I probably always like whatever they do. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Their sound seems to change ever so slightly each album. Yeah, and I feel like this one for me just, well, I like the band and I like the album. There's not a lot to it and I feel like it gets a little samey. Um, I don't have quite the, the loving relationship that you do. Yeah. Um, and I think it, it's, it's not an impressive record. It's a fun record. Um, I think the title track is good. Clap Clap is really good. 
Um, for me, as a as a band that's out there in the world, I feel like they're just really doing something interesting. I think I read that they've been together for 15 years. It's been a long. They've been together since the 90s, which is surprising because they yeah. only have four records. Right. Um, I think they all know each other in high school. Um, it's very weird. Yeah, and they're just they've just really captured to me a unique sound. I think this album though is uh, one one notch above Ritual Union. Um, you know, I really like in terms of the songwriting. In, in terms of being like an album, you know, like there's a a lot of songs on Ritual Union are, are probably my some of my favorite Little Dragon songs. Um, but this, as a whole project of an album, I feel like is a is a more solid it's more album. More cohesive. Yeah. Okay. It feels, and it may be because I haven't spent enough time with it. Um, but it, it, yeah, like I said, it feels a little bit samey around the edges. Um, Their beats are a little strange. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not your typical uh, beats a lot of the time. Uh, some weird time signatures here and there. Uh, I will give it a nine. A nine? Yes. I will give it a seven. A seven? A seven. I, I think you should give it another shot at least. I'll give it another it shot. It should be bo more than a seven. If you're giving this a nine, I'm going to listen to it a lot more on repeat. I've listened to it about twice. Two to three times. Oh yeah? Um, and I would, I'm gonna go with a listen seven. Listen to it at work. I will, I will listen Listen to it every day. <laughs> you Once a day. Must love this record. Once a day. <laughs> um, Let's see what Lucas Jr. thinks of it. All right, Lucas. What do you think of this? What, what do you think of this, Lucas? Are you okay? <laughs> You're not talking. Oh, I, I'm sorry. What happened? Lucas, what do you think of Little Dragon? Oh, Little Dragons? They don't exist. I'm not stupid. No, not actual You know, dragons. somebody tried to tell me that there was these dragons around back in the old days at the same time as cavemen. I was like, what? No. -uh. No, they were talking about dinosaurs. Oh, are we listening to Dinosaur Jr.? Because that's one of my favorites of all times. No. All times favorites. I, Favorite Dinosaur Jr. Yippee. I, Did you ever hear his cover, Just Like Heaven? <laughs> yeah, I have, but we're not listening to it's Dinosaur. pretty good. Did you say his cover? You know it's three guys, right? Oh. No, I don't really know anything. I'm aware. I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm asking you what you think about the song. We're I'm surprised to. Lucas knew just like Heaven was covered, <laughs> and it wasn't a Dinosaur Junior song. I'm surprised he he says he knows nothing, right. but but knows who Dinosaur Junior is. No, I know who Dinosaur Junior is. Clearly, they. Thank you very much. Did a cover of Just Like Heaven, which is by who? It is by. The dinosaurs. No. <laughs> they did not live at the same time as cavemen. That is wrong. Little Dragon. Yes. Do they... you know who Little Dragon is? The oh, name of the band. From Game of Thrones? No. That's a show where everybody got their titties out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't think you should watch that show. <laughs> no, I've seen titties. It's okay. <laughs> that show is not for you. <laughs> You are a tiny thing, and you should not well, be watching. First of all, I don't like CG dragons, and they're not real, and titties are, and I don't know why they gotta put dragons on titties. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> no one's putting dragons on. Well, uh huh, Dinosaur Jr. did. What did they do? <laughs> You, I'm, I don't even, I'm confused now. You actually have me confused. What are you even saying? I'm talking about when Dinosaur Jr. <laughs> made the show Game of Thrones and put a dragon's on titties. <laughs> no. Why would they do that? Every no, I thought it was just like heaven. No, that's a song by The Cure. <laughs> that's a song by The Cure. That oh, wait, Dinosaur that's a Jr. song? <laughs> just like heaven? That's a song? That dinosaur. I didn't know that. I don't. What I was, did you think it was? No, I was saying that Dragons on Titties was just like heaven. 
And dinosaurs and you're covered <laughs> titties with dragons. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. What, what has happened? You have gone completely <laughs> off the deep end. I feel like we're playing Mad Libs or something. <laughs> Look, it's, can you string together a coherent thought? Oh yeah, that's all I do is string together thoughts. No, you're thinking. My thoughts are strung together. I think you're strung out. <laughs> I'm strung is out. Is that how you laugh? I don't <laughs> <laughs>
actively likes them. Like everybody hates Nickelback. But. Sure. Ben. I got an email from <laughs> iTunes one time, and the uh, the subject line said new music from Nickelback. And I said, I doubt it's new music. I, <laughs> I bet, bet it's the exact same, same music with different titles. Said this to your monitor. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> also, Avril Lavigne. Um, and and their, their forces have combined now. Right. Yeah. What? It's terrible. They made a song together. And <laughs> they they're, did? They're they got married. married. It's yeah. funny Avril Lavigne married Nickelback? <laughs> <laughs> All of the whole band. Just tra Chad Kroger or whatever. Yeah. She just married him. His name is Chad. He looks like a Chad. Yep. It is. He yeah. so looks like a Chad. It's no, it's no Aerosmith song from Armageddon. I would stay away <laughs> I do just like to hear songs. you breathing. Animal you. crackers. <laughs> on the nipples. Was it on the nipples? Yeah, he's like, look at the mountains. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, and then the valley. Yeah. They yeah. Go into the and valley. it was Liv Tyler, so it's like, those are not mountains. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they would show it. That movie's only rated PG-13. Plus, her dad's song is playing, which just yeah, adds that's a creepy. very I know that is sort of unsettling. <laughs> All right, yeah. well, I remember <laughs> thinking that, like while <laughs> watching that scene, and her dad is singing to it. You're like, this is awkward, so horrible. <laughs> yeah. Was I deeply, hope they don't save wrong. the world. I don't want to live in a world that this happens. Anyway, thank you so much for writing to us. Please write in the comments, email us, Twitter us. More music questions would be nice, so. <laughs> and until next time, top, top of, the of the world, world to you. Helister Co. Skulking Gabbana.